Tuola High School in New Jersey is looking to bridge the gap between police and students of color who may distrust law enforcement through basketball. Well, later this morning, 12 students from St. Benedict's Preparatory School in Newark and 12 New Jersey State Troopers will play each other in the first ever Building Bridges basketball game. We are joined by Jaden Forniel, a student at St. Benedict's, and Father Edwin Leahy, who is the headmaster at the school, to talk more about the initiative. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so gentlemen, let me ask you both, what brought about this idea to try to mend relations between police and communities of color? Uh, Jay, he says you take it. Uh, <laughs> Good move. We started this program, we started this program back uh, several months ago now with uh, the New Jersey State Police. Uh, the basket, this is the first basketball game, but we've had over 100 troopers in here with adversity challenges with our kids. Uh, so it's been, it's been a great opportunity for the kids to be, begin to, to know the experience of the, of the troops and for the troopers to understand a little bit about what goes on here in Newark. So, uh, Jaden, tell us about the intense day of bonding between students and police. There was one a few years ago and maybe some changes this year. I mean, what, what, what have you seen that has been different now because of it? Well, what I've seen is like when they come in, they get introduced at Convo. So every morning we have convocation and then there's a big cheer. Like we, we draft people, they get paired up. And then for the day, we spend the whole day competing against other troopers. And I feel like that competitive, competitiveness is something that we share. It's a, it's a common thing between our community and the troopers. So I feel like that's built a great bond and it allows us to connect. Like when we're struggling together in those tough situations, it makes, it makes people understand. Father, I want to ask you, uh, there have been a number of recent incidents of police brutality against people of color. Why are initiatives like these needed, and why is it so important to be creative like this, introducing basketball into the equation? Uh, it's, it's important, I think, for the, uh, the it's like seeing your, your teacher in the supermarket. You, you, you say, do you, you go shopping too? So it's, I think for the kids to hear the troopers talk about the most important people in their life, their wives, their partners, their kids, and then for the troops, troopers to hear the, the kids' uh, struggles and views of things and what they have to live with has been a huge uh, help. Now, what's also true is that the, the state troop, troopers are much more diverse now than they were previously. Uh, so there's a lot of troopers who come from Newark, which has been a, also a, uh, a huge help to us in, uh, in the city. I think true in in New Jersey, whether it's true in other, other states, I'm not sure of that. And Jaden, you're one of the minds behind this event. What made you take on the challenge of trying to restore the community's faith in law enforcement? Well, one thing for me is I never really had trust in law enforcement, so I know a lot of my peers share that same distrust of the, of the law enforcement as well. So I feel like I wanted to spearhead this because that's what's something we can all bond over, right? Like, I mean, that, again, that competitive edge we all have. And I feel like, we, like Father Ed said, we don't often see them as humans. We see them as just people who come after us or things like that. And then once we really connect emotionally and understand that they have the same struggles outside of their workplace, then I feel like that's when we really come together. So Jaden has your was, has your this was his idea. Yeah, uh, well that's just it. This I mean, Jayden, his you, idea. You deserve so much credit, Jaden, for for being mature enough to come up with something like this. But let me ask you this: playing off of what you just said, has your perception of the police now changed, and have you recognized a change in perception with some of your friends as well? Definitely. After experiencing building bridges, at first, initially, I did not want to do it at all. I thought it was pretty, like, stupid, I'm not going to lie. But after, after experiencing it, I was like, it's actually a pretty productive thing. I mean, um, our perception has definitely changed because we, we connect with them, and it's people who look like us. Like, I'm Hispanic, and I, in our communities, there's not a lot of role models. There's not a lot of state troopers coming out of there. So that's not the example we often get. But then when we get to bond with them and experience with them, they become kind of our role models, in a sense. So I feel like that's the biggest thing here. And, and before we let you go, as far as uh, competitiveness on the basketball court, uh, the state troopers were not brave enough to come on television, so they must be <laughs> practicing right now. Um, who's got the competitive yeah. edge in this game? 
Well, they've got the height advantage, yeah. but they're also breaking 40 apiece. So we'll see. <laughs> Jaden, we're kidding. We're kidding 40. about the troopers. They, <laughs> that not being brave enough to come on television. They are probably getting ready for this game. We heard it's very competitive. We wish you guys the very best of luck, and we thank you very much for taking the time. And Jaden, congratulations to you. A big pat on the back for you from all of us here for uh, coming up with this initiative and Father for uh, allowing this to kind of take place and really unfold and be as successful Thanks. as it is. Thanks for being thank here. Thank you. Well, so well much. done. Yeah. Well done. All the best today. If you'd like to learn about the, the Building Bridges Project, we do have a link to the program on our website. You can go to CBSNewYork.com and later tonight we'll have a full report on what ends up happening at the game. Can't wait for the highlights. Can't wait for the highlights. All right.